this political season, as you know, and as we get closer to the presidential election, get ready to see some more attack ads, some fact, some fiction. State lawmakers are worried about the use of artificial intelligence in political ads, and Eight on Your Side investigator Masa Saidi shows us how they're trying to tackle that issue. Well, fake ads can influence elections, and frankly, it's pretty tough to spot a fake ad. I want you to take a moment, listen to this robocall, and ask yourself, is it real or is it fake? Voting this Tuesday only enables the Republicans in their quest to elect Donald Trump again. Your vote makes a difference in November, not this Tuesday. Sounds like President Biden, right? But according to Biden's campaign manager, this robocall is fake. They say Biden's voice has been altered to encourage New Hampshire primary voters to not support the president. As the campaign season heats up, a deep concern about artificial intelligence. I worry about it. Adam Goodman has created GOP political ads for 40 years. So, I may have done... Uh, five Senate presidents, four House speakers. I work with Jeb, Pam Bondi. As a prosecutor, I've seen crime and brutality. Adam says AI has its advantages, but it does not belong in political attack ads. DeSantis uh, and Trump, I think both their teams have, have been guilty already of AI. If we're getting further and further from reality in political campaigns, further and further from the truth. Uh, that just feeds into a uh, public distrust of the entire process. Now a push in Tallahassee to tackle the deception. One Bay Area senator just filing a bill that would require AI political ads to include a disclaimer. Another state senator wants to create a council to study the role of AI in government. Meanwhile, state rep Alex Andrade's bill would make it easier to sue if you were harmed by AI. Making sure that people aren't cast in misleadingly false lights, being made to look like they're doing something that they would never do or have never done in real life. USF associate professor Joshua Skako tells me it's going to be tough for regulation to keep up with the technology. And there's other challenges, too. Manipulation techniques have been used for decades. Uh, you can look, for instance, at health and beauty cosmetics in terms of touching up, uh, you know, models for particular products. And multiple political experts tell me they're not even sure that a disclaimer would work. Would people see it? Would people know what it means? We're going to continue to track all these bills throughout the session. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm investigator Masaidi, 8 on your side.